incarceration is one of the biggest social justice issues impacting the black community. The Department of Justice says each year more than 600,000 inmates are released from U.S. prisons. About two thirds of them return to the prison population within the first three years of being released. In tonight's Entrepreneur Sunday, Mohammed Abdul Hadi, founder and owner of Down North Pizza, is breaking the cycle in his community and offering former inmates a slice of the good life. Mohammed Abdul Hadi, thank you so much for joining me for Entrepreneur Sunday and welcome to BNC. Thank you for having me. We are excited. I want to talk about your good, good pizza. So tell us all about this. Down North isn't your ordinary pizza shop. You believe in serving up pies with a purpose. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. I got started because I actually owned a building in the North Philadelphia section. And at the time, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with the building, but I know I needed to do something that served, that better served the community at large. So knowing that there's a food desert in the area and knowing that there's a huge mass incarceration problem mm -hmm. in the area, I came up with the concept of how to marry the two to kind of kill two birds with one stone. And so with that, what is it that you decided to create? I know it's a pizza shop, but you offer jobs to um, people who might have not been able to find a job. Yeah, so we exclusively hire formerly incarcerated individuals. And we also have apartments on top of the restaurant where, you know, if they need to, if they're having trouble finding a place to stay, those apartments are, you know, they, are, they have access to those apartments while they're being employed at Down North Pizza. Mm -hmm. We also play a fair equitable rate of work, which is double what they say the living wage is in Philadelphia. Nice. We start our employees off at $15 an hour. And we just try to provide a, a safe place for them to be themselves and for them to flourish and not be, um, you know, live behind that stigma that, you know, they're less than in society. And Mohammed, what led you to wanting to be that answer to that call, to be able to be that help for them um, in a time of need? Because as I look around, you know, me, myself being affected by the criminal injustice system, which I would like to call it, mm -hmm. knowing that these guys just need a shot and need an opportunity to just be the best version of themselves. There was a need for something like this. And I figure I can get the, you know, the ball rolling and hopefully other organizations will follow in my lead and start to look at some of their hiring practices and start to, you know, bring on candidates, not because of, you know, the mistakes that, you know, not bar them because of the mistakes they had, but actually looking into the individual and the person and giving them a shot because that's all they want. Mm -hmm. So you experienced this yourself? Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I often share the story with people that uh, my, di my dad spent 17 years in prison, actually. So I know how difficult it is to get out and not be able to get a job um, just from family experience. So, you know, we talk about the DOJ. They say two thirds of inmates relapse when, within the first three years of being released. Talk about the obstacles former inmates face that make that transition back into society so difficult. Their life has been on pause for whatever time that they've been incarcerated, right? Mm -hmm. So they're coming out essentially like a deer in the headlights with no resources. So the studies have shown that recidivism is high because of the lack of resources. So I think between 80 and 90% people do not go back into prison if they have proper resources. Yeah, definitely. Oftentimes they don't want to give us a second chance, right? And so you talk about the importance of the training. What type of training do you provide to your employees to help lower the rate of the recidivism um, in your community? Uh, we give, you know, culinary training. Um, we have like, you know, a family dynamic here. So this is more like a family environment when you come into down north, you know, when you walk into the doors as a patron, you can, you can feel that family dynamic your pizza's being made with love. Um, these guys are, you know, they're smiling. They're not the, you know, the normal, what well, people would normally think of people who've been formerly incarcerated because mm -hmm. there's a stigma behind them and how they portray themselves in society. So we exemplify the total opposite here. And, you know, customer service is something that, you know, I harp on. These are things, these skills that they're being taught, you know, or, or here at Down North Pizza, they can take wherever, right? We're just trying to essentially throw as many resources at these guys as possible. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, that hopefully, they, you know, this will be enough for them to kickstart their life and go on to be 
productive members in society. Yeah, that's, I mean, I mean that's that's huge, right? And I was checking out your Instagram, and I saw even one of your top chefs mentioned how I went from being a prison cook to now I'm a top executive chef. So it's just so cool to be able to see that opportunity that you're able to give these guys. Um, and let's also talk about some of the fun stuff, right? The food, because I was looking at your pictures, all of those pizzas, the wings. I saw what rock the mic. I'm a boss, no better love. You mentioned your food being made with love, wings, the crab fries caught my eyes, all of the good stuff. So give us a rundown of some of the, <laughs> the favorites that you got all these people here cooking up. So um, I, I chose pizza because the absence of blacks in the pizza space and knowing that, you know, we just need to get in there and put our own little twist mm -hmm. and, you know, in on it and make our own version of what we think is, you know, cool, right? So with our pizzas, we chose to go to Detroit style pizza route because it was becoming a, you know, a trendy topic and it was something that, you know, we could, we felt as though we can make and take to the next level. You know, also being honored by Bon Appetit as one of the top 10 restaurants reshaping the restaurant industry in America was big because like I said, these type of wars don't particularly come to us and in our neighborhood. Ooh. And you know, I tip my hat to Chef Mike because I'm not a chef and um, I've been able to put together this team of guys who believe in the concept and believe in what we have going on and they're putting their best foot forward and now you got some of the best pizza you tasted you know made by ex-cons right yeah so mike always say when you come in when you come into down north you're gonna get the you know the mission and you're gonna get some good pizza yeah so you know that's just how it is that is so amazing i i just love this story i mean i want to try that pizza too so <laughs> Well, Muhammad, how can people donate? I mean, obviously, like you said, it's the mission um, that you keep pushing forward. How can people donate to the cause? I mean, you can donate. You can, you know, buy our merch. You can come into the store. You know, you can support us online. It's, it's, it's various different ways you can support us. And keep on getting the word out because, like I said, success means to us is more people knowing about what this small little restaurant is doing in North Philadelphia and hopefully take a time to look at themselves and the things that, they're doing and maybe you know give these people a shot for me just seeing these guys smiling seeing these guys being able to take care of their family seeing that these guys don't have to do anything that could possibly get them in trouble just trying to you know support their family and support their life if given a chance to give somebody else an opportunity you just do the same and i tell them that all the time yeah that is such a blessing. They are, they are very blessed to have you have to have created this. Well, Muhammad, thank you so much. The last question I got to ask you is where can our viewers find you? If they want your pizza, they want to get any of your stuff, how can they find you? Downnorthpizza.com. We on Instagram at downnorth underscore pizza. We on Twitter, down pizza. You know, number 215-377-9727. Hit us up. You know, we around. Awesome. I'm expecting some of them crab fries in the mail, and then you can send me some No Better Love, too. I'm good for all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad, thank you for joining us for Entrepreneur Sunday. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course.